Thanks for joining us tonight. A new discussion taking place tonight over a construction project that's been decades in the making. The South Bridge Connector Project would make a bypass route for southern parts of Brown County between I-41 and I-43, stretching across Lawrence, De Pere, and Longview. Officials hosting a public meeting tonight, providing updates about that project and hearing from the public. New attend Drew Best attended tonight's meeting in De Pere and brings us the details. Thursday's public meeting discussing the South Bridge Connector Project brought out several members of the De Pere community. Many of the neighbors came into the meeting with a list of questions they wanted answered about the project. We're concerned about the speed of the bridge. Uh, we'd like it to be 25 mile an hour because everybody speeds and they're going to go faster than that. We are concerned about noise. We're concerned about just the stability of our building and we just need more information on, on when this is going to happen. The project has been discussed for several years, and city officials say the corridor east of I-41 is either beginning construction or starting the planning process. Brown County's Planning and Land Services Director says this project is well needed. One of the main reasons we're doing this project is to relieve congestion, not that just exists in downtown De Pere today, but what we expect to exist in downtown De Pere in the future to make sure the downtown De Pere bridge isn't too heavily taxed. Each level of the project is presented on poster boards stacked throughout the Altmeyer gym for the entire public to see. And homeowners say speaking with the people working on the project gave them a resource to reach out to as the project develops. I think it's good to talk to the people that are actually doing it and actually designing it. I think that's important to make that connection between the residents and who's making it because it is going to impact a lot of our properties and our homes and our families. They're going to be living with this project and using it for decades so we want to make sure that it suits their needs and it basically fits in as best we can with the surrounding neighborhoods as they grow. The city anticipates the full South Bridge Connector project to be completed by fall of 2029. Reporting in De Pere, Drew Best, Action 2 News.